Born Lady Jane Seymour Fonda on December 21, 1937, in New York City, Jane Fonda has enjoyed a tremendous career as an actress. She comes from a Hollywood dynasty of sorts. Her father, Henry, was one of the top actors of the 20th century. Fonda faced some challenges growing up. Her father could be cold and distant. Her mother, socialite Frances Seymour Brokaw, committed suicide when Fonda was 12 years old. Not long after her mother's death, Fonda developed an eating disorder, which she struggled with for years. She attended boarding school and then went to Vassar College. Leaving college, Fonda went to Paris to study art. Fonda returned to New York and did a bit of modeling for a time. Before long, she decided to follow in her father's footsteps. In 1954, she co-starred with her father in a production of The Country Girl. Fonda began to study her craft with Lee Strasberg at the famed actor studio a few years later. Fonda's career seemed to really take off in 1960. She made her film debut in Tall Story, 1960, with Anthony Perkins. On Broadway, Fonda netted a Tony Award nomination for There Was a Little Girl. She continued to juggle theatrical and film work over the next few years. Working with director George Cukor, Fonda starred in the romantic comedy The Chapman Report, 1962. In the late 1960s, Fonda recreated herself as a type of sex kitten under the direction of her French filmmaker husband, Roger Vadim. This new look was most evident in the 1968 science fiction tale, Barbarella. She soon shed this image for more serious, dramatic roles. She scored her first Academy Award nomination for 1969's They Shoot Horses, Don't They? Two years later, Fonda took home her first Academy Award for her work on Alan J. Pakula's thriller, Clute. On the big screen, Fonda continued to deliver strong performances. She starred as playwright Lillian Hellman in Julia, 1977, with Vanessa Redgrave. The following year, Fonda won her second Academy Award for the Vietnam War drama, Coming Home with John Voight. Another significant role for Fonda came a few years later. She co-starred with her father Henry in On Golden Pond, 1982. The film explores the dynamics of a family during a visit to their summer home. Art mirrored life in this case, with Fonda playing daughter to her real-life father. Katherine Hepburn also starred as Fonda's mother. The film gave her father his first and only Academy Award win as Best Actor. Around this time, Fonda also found herself spearheading a national health craze. She launched an immensely successful series of aerobic exercise videos.
2005, Fonda made a dramatic return to the public eye. She appeared in her first film in almost 15 years with Monster in Law, which also starred Jennifer Lopez and Michael Barton. That same year, Fonda published an autobiography, My Life So Far. More film roles followed, including playing the title character in the 2007 film Georgia Rule with Lindsay Lohan. Working on the small screen, Fonda landed a recurring role on the media-focused dramatic series The Newsroom in 2012. She also played former First Lady Nancy Reagan in the 2013 film The Butler. In 2015, Fonda teamed up with longtime friend Lily Tomlin for the series Grace and Frankie. That year, Fonda also delivered a standout performance alongside Michael Caine and Harvey Keitel in Youth, earning a Golden Globe nomination for Supporting Actress. Fonda has been married three times. All of these unions ended in divorce. Her marriage to filmmaker Roger Vadim lasted from 1965 to 1973, and they had a daughter named Vanessa together. Then, she married activist and politician Tom Hayden in 1973. They welcomed their son Troy Garrity that same year. After divorcing Hayden in 1990, Fonda soon found love with media mogul Ted Turner. Married in 1991, the pair stayed together for a decade. The couple divorced in 2001, reportedly over Fonda's newfound Christian faith. She went on to date music producer Richard Perry for nearly a decade until they split in 2017.